Tony. Tony. He it seems to know a little more of the game. I agree. Than than Bustamante, although Bustamante shoots better. I agree, 100. percent Yep. So my, my, I've always been of the opinion that if it's close, the shooter will win. I agree. I think so too. I don't like playing them guys that run it every time I get a shot like this. <laughs> I want to have several. I, I like when we start playing safe. I know I got a couple of innings coming. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. I agree. I was playing Cole Dixon years ago in a tournament, and he run out well, like every time. Well, he shoot a white flag. He he never missed a ball. <laughs> you know, so he run out like every time. I'm like, dude, this is not good. Because he didn't know much about the game. And he, he could shoot. Though. And he shot. He's, good, he's a hell of a shooter. Yeah. Well, I felt the same way when I played Eddie Taylor for money. Oh, yeah. You're left-handed, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I do everything left-handed except shoot a, a weapon, a pistol or a rifle. Well, thank you. Now they can't hear us. Yes, they can. No, the, the players? Yes. And let's talk real loud. Yeah. But they, yeah, if we talk loud, they don't. It's really funny. A year or two ago, I was com uh, commentating a match with, uh, one pocket match with uh, Darren Appleton and Shane Van Bowen. So Darren was getting ready to shoot this ball, and I said on the commentary, I said, I said that's the wrong shot. I said, he should be shooting the eight. And Darren looks up, he says, Robert, I can't hit the eight. And I'm like, oh, sorry, dude. He was pissed. That's funny. Yeah, he says, I can't hit the eight. He, he actually got up from the shot, looked at me in the booth, he says, I can't hit the eight. And I'm like, oh, sorry, Darren. That's funny. Yeah, it was, he thought it was funny. That's, that's always a touchy little shot when you got to kick them balls like that. You know, you got to make sure you hit it right in the back of the head, all right? I did a little commentary with uh, Billy Cardone uh, in Louisville, Kentucky, uh -huh. and uh, they called me on the some line and uh, said, "Speak up!" I, I was afraid to speak up because I didn't. Yeah, I, yeah. I thought the players could hear me, and I didn't want to shark. Oh, I well, know, yeah. You know, and he said, "Speak up, Kelly. We can't hear you." It was Pat Fleming. Uh, yeah, yeah. This one pocket so funny. You know, I think I was talking about it yesterday how the the game, in my opinion, is determined so much on how much you're playing for. Well, like playing nine ball, you shoot the balls in the same patterns pretty much. If you're playing for five dollars or for five thousand. You, know, you shoot the two in the corner and the three in the side. But this here, you know, you're betting enough money, you're betting your last money, you might not shoot that bank. You know, that long rail bank that you might make, it's like 50-50. I think if you know the game, and I know you know the game, I think you shoot the shot you know is the right shot for you. Yeah. Regardless of what you're playing for. Yeah, I promise so. Uh, Unless you're fainting. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. But then you can't win anyway. Yeah, yeah. I've always enjoyed, for some reason, I like the way the left-handed players approach the balls and the table. It's just so impressive looking for some reason. Like you, Mike Siegel, Sonny Springer was left-handed, my friend Sonny. You know, just your presence at the table looks cool. You know, I don't know why that is. Yeah, I, I don't understand that because it, it looks you know, better. I could see it on like bowling on some alleys. A left handed got the best of it because of the way it's grooved. Uh, but I, I don't understand it. Ooh, it's a, you know, it's like shot. That, that's a pretty good shot. You know, I believe he might can. It's, hard, it's harder in, in people that at home watching us doing this commentary. It's harder to, to see these shots sometimes on these monitors. 
Yeah. You know, like right now, I can't tell if he can bank this ten. The cue ball go in the middle and come out. Right. I can't tell if he can hit it. Apparently, he can, or he. he but it looks. No, he would. He would hit this other ball. I believe he banked the ball, wouldn't he? With the cue ball. Yep. I have no idea what he's going to do. Yeah. I think that's uh, an inconsequential shot. Mm hmm. That didn't do much. Didn't they kind of say years ago? But did, didn't didn't they say years ago, 20, 30, 40 years ago, play one pocket, you don't really kick it that many balls? It seems like they kick it more balls now. Well, it's it's not as far away to kick. Yeah. You can be more accurate now yeah. than you could in those days. Yeah. I learned to play on a 5 by 10. Huge difference, huh? Yeah, you know, big difference. Big difference. I mean, for, for the most players, yeah. for, for hu most humans, no, wasn't, uh, a, wasn't a difference for a guy like Eddie Taylor. It didn't make any difference. Boy, he hit it good. He just didn't hit it hard enough. Cheap gas. That's a good shot, though. Mm -hmm. Taking this ball out over against that rail is a little funny. It might. I'd shoot the ball straight into the ball. I'd shoot the shoot one the straight one. into it. Exactly. And, and hope you get lucky. That's right. And something might carry him over there off the three or whatever that ball is. Oh, he can see Maybe it. He's, he's going to make it. He's, gonna try and make he's it. trying to make this ball. He's yeah, you got to make it. Yeah. I didn't know he could see that. I didn't think he could see it either. Excellent shot. But the, well, if the he got thing, another he, inch, he's really yeah, ain't marked yeah. up. Because now he can get out by shooting the three. Yeah. If he puts him in between them two balls, he's really got him in jail. He's got to shoot the three and get it out of there. And that way, you know, go two very mm -hmm. and at least he'll have one on his side. Mm -hmm. You you got you got to play one pocket, especially in the beginning of the game. You got to get strength on your side. Mm -hmm. He has no strength on his side. Mm -mm. Yeah, he just got to shoot the three out there and park the cue ball. Yeah. Wait. No, he can reach it. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. See, he, he didn't get any strength on his side. In other words, he didn't do anything. I like banking the three here with the high right coming over there. You know, he's putting the putting the ball over everybody's hole. Wow. Keep it when they know you like it. No. Don't you like it? I just like to hit the fifteen and, and bang it into them balls. One rail. In yeah, other words, that, you got strength on your side. Right. Now right, you right, want right, to get right. a lot more strength than you want. You know, when a guy's in trouble. He's kicking at this ball, I believe. Look at this. Good shot. But, but he really didn't do a whole Yeah. Thing. You know, he's only got one ball on his side. I learned from Ronnie Allen, you, you got to move balls. Mm-hmm. Especially early. I just put him up the end rails, try to get him straight in. That's all. Get him on rail, let him shoot at that one. For the money. That's right. <laughs> I, mean, I ain't shooting at it. 
But you know, when everyone's in his prime, he'd just shoot this ball and get out. And he would shoot. He would shoot. Everyone right. would shoot this ball. It looks. It's almost dead straight. You know, it's not a whole lot you can do with it. Yeah, I, I, and he can shoot it at me for my money all day long. Yep, yeah, I agree. I wouldn't shoot it with counterfeit money. No. I can't believe he's going to shoot this ball. You should have to shoot as you go off the one. Go to the first time and up by the front. Mm -hmm. The cue ball. The one might hit those two balls and it might make a ball out of 15. Mm -hmm. But you got now you got strength on your side. Mm -hmm. When you used to break the balls on a five by ten, did you go two rails and put the cue ball back down the end rail when you broke them? On a five by ten, we on broke a five by ten. We, we split the, the last the back two. two. Yeah, yeah. I remember and it's the same in in like in Baltimore, which is the only city I know of. The the, the most popular game was side of piece. In other words, it was uh -huh. just like one pocket, only you had the whole side. Uh huh. Oh, really? Yeah. A hell of a game. That's different. Excuse me. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it was a, it, it was the uh, most popular game in Baltimore. Of course, these were all five by tens. One time I'm, well, I hate to keep telling stories, but this is so funny. 1980, I'm in the, the Detroit, and I was 30 years old. And my one pocket game sucked, right? So I'm playing a guy for 2,000 a game. His name's Cletus. He's a drug dealer. Cletus, leader. I think I know him. Heavy set white guy. And I'm playing him nine to five in a break. And his scratches and his scratches don't count. So Cornbread's up with me on the money. Took half my action. And I didn't know what I was doing. And uh, he, he was squirming. Red says, Robert. He's stick. always scrumming. He said, stick to the bar tables. He says, you don't know what in the hell you're doing playing one pocket. And I was laughing. <laughs> and we, we, you know, we were together every day for like a year out traveling around, around, around uh, Michigan. And he never, ever practiced. Somebody would come to town, and he'd play him nine ball on that five by ten and never miss a ball. Yeah. I mean, what I knew. I, I, I was a good friend. He had, he had Fred, such talent. Red and I were good friends. Such talent he had, I thought. I loved the guy. We'd go in them <laughs> bars and he'd be cussing at people. I'm like, Red, you going to get... See, he, he, he can get out here. He dropped down, you know, put a ball on the rail. He, he's liable. You know, he shoots real good. Post oh, there's there. no doubt. He executes so good. No, he missed it. Look at this. He missed, he missed that by a mile. See, I, I probably put a curse on him. You jinxed him. I burned the money. Maybe he didn't hear me. You know where I was playing at in the south most of my life? You just climb up on the table here. You didn't have to use a bridge. He come come right up for thirteen. He, 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 should, he could get out if he sits right. Uh -huh. I don't know how he's going to do it. If he hits, if he moves more more than one ball on the table, it's a foul. On this, by the way, for the people watching, might not know. If he moves more than, more than one ball, if he if he moves one ball, I, I would imagine, yeah. One, one ball's not a foul. No. That's kind of strange, huh? Yeah, it is. It's a it's, it's a tough situation here. 
You might need two bridges. Daniel, if if he moves one ball, who is it the other guy's option to put it back? Yes. That could cause a that could cause a problem. I've seen that cause. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> This is a tough, tough uh, deal there. Did he hit something? Well, he, he did he wound foul? Up. What did he do? He, hit a, he fouled the wall. Well, that boost the mind, he could push it back, he said. Oh, you found the cue ball? No, I guess he hit two object balls with his rake with the bridge. I don't like no part of that shot. Well, if he can hit this ball full, he can put him. He can mess him up here, right? He can't. can't hit I can't. Can't. He's he's making it one rail, going to go across the table. That's the right shot if you don't get a kiss. He's got to bank the 10 ball back into the three, move him around a little bit and float down here. I, I, I don't know where the 10 is. This ball right here. Oh, okay. Nothing goes here. I mean, he might be shooting, trying to not, I don't think this. He's got to move those balls. See, nothing goes in his hole. He's trying to move something here if he just does this just like that, and that's what I that's what yeah, I Yeah, that's, that's a safe thing, but nothing he didn't do anything aggressive. You understand? One hole out there to do with it. Well look at the way the ball. Oh I know, what yeah. What ball goes in his hole? None. <laughs> it's no good. This is going to be a long game here. Good, good shot. See, he tried, he tried to not get that. Now, 14. you know what I would do here? They don't shoot these shots. I would bank this 12, pass it into those balls, and carry exactly. them out. Like, exactly. They don't shoot these shots, Eddie. They, That's the right shot. I've seen too many shots yesterday. They overlooked them. Like, dude. That's a nice shot. Yeah, he shot it. He, he did it. And he got to go inside, go back over there. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Or, or I didn't think he. Could he have, or he could have forced it through the ball. Right. And go two rail. Right. Saying. Right. They overlooked the. But see, several. now he's got all all, all the uh, yeah. strength on his side. Yeah. And still nothing goes in Bustamante's mm -mm. hole. This ball here's close, way. That's no good. That's yeah, no good. That's the end of the game. Well, that would, he's supposed to, if he's going he could just thin that ball, put him right behind that ball. Yeah. Anything would have been better than that, what he did. Kicking that ball like that. that would really... I don't get that. No. Mm -hmm. What you're doing, I don't get it. Just adjusting the score. Oh. He's just a score right there. Oh, okay. Bustamante owes two. Yeah, that was a poorly. Because I don't want to do anything wrong. The shot he's supposed to shoot here is a 13. Mm -hmm. 
and swing it out. Just roll it down the rail. Well, the third gate to open it. Open exactly, the exactly. Get a shift to third gate. No, no, from there? Thirteen's way up there. Third gate. If he shoots this ball. It's no good. I would shoot this one. I oh yeah. Shoot. It'd come around. But he wasn't playing for that. No. And he just stopped. He's just cinching he's just cinching that ball, make sure he made it, which is he, this is dead. See what I mean? Mm -hmm. He shoots third gate. He, he opens the back. He banked this ball though. This is this yeah, thing. Yeah, that puts yourself in a position where you yeah. bank balls. And now he's straight in. He can't over the ball. He can't do nothing. Mm -mm. He's there. I think he can. Believe me, he should have got out. Mm -hmm. I like that shot. Yeah. Moving well, all the ball though, like well, that. Because and he's got a big lead. Because you got a big lead, you got to play the score. Yeah. Talk about having disagreements playing pool. I probably played this guy ten times, and every time we played, we argued. Uh, Cecil, remember Black Cecil? <laughs> Doug Well. I, I wasn't a fan of his. Oh man, we argued like like you wouldn't have believed. We're well, he lives to argue. I don't know if well, he's he, still alive. No, he's dead. He died about seven eight years ago. But we would play. We was playing upstairs at Butch's Joint Bellflower. In every game, he would argue whose break it was. It didn't matter what. See, he's got to get the, nothing goes in his way. So, so you're shooting this. It doesn't matter. Mm -mm. He's got to move them balls around. You know, I cut that. I move, I move all four balls here in one shot. Yeah, all those balls you, move. And you try to bring the cue ball mm -hmm. down and put it on the rail. Just like that. Yep. Good now shot. you got balls on your side. Mm -hmm. You've got two balls on your side. At least got a little strength. Mm -hmm. To where if the guy messes up, you can get some balls. What was your best game, you think? One pocket or straight ball? Uh, it. Uh, oh, one pocket for sure. One pocket. Mm -hmm. uh, but at different times of my career, so called career, mm -hmm. uh, like initially straight pool, because that's what they played in my hometown. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I learned to play one uh, nine ball because everybody knows how to play nine. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, then I learned how to play one pocket. After a while, one pocket was my best game. But I had pretty good teachers. <laughs> Who, Ronnie was my the one. Ronnie, Eddie Taylor. Yes. Boston Shorty. I mean, all those guys were, you know, champions. Imagine. Four to a minus two is a score, fans. See, he's got a real good touch. Mm hmm. Who's the monkey? Oh, yeah. Good touch. <coughs> There's not too much to say when the ball hit like this. All you really got to say is who's who's ahead. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> that determines what you do. He, he, he's, he's two to one loser. 
Bruce DeMichael. He's got a shoe of the way flag. Daniel, I'll bet you a dollar on who makes the next block. I'll take, I'll take Bruce to Basketball. Whoever makes the next ball, yeah. I believe you, but I'll All right, I got Boosty on the next ball made. <laughs> I got to do something. I'm getting bored watching this game. Side bet, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, I, I, in my opinion, Ustamante will be the, the next guy to shoot at his hole. There you go. <laughs> I, got a little, I got a little the best of this because he's got to go. He's got to swing <laughs> right. at something. Right. Tony's going to be ducking the rest of the game. Boosie's going to be shooting, so I got a pretty good bet there. The other guy was like, I don't know if those balls froze on him. I feel like I trapped you. <laughs> I know Boosie's going to be shooting at a white flag. I don't like that. You got to do something aggressive. You got to move ball to get balls out. He's going to put, yeah. And I don't like that either. Put him upstairs. Well, he might. Oh, look at this. He didn't hit a rail. I guess he didn't. Oh, that's really, that's really, that. he didn't hit a rail. Tony didn't hit a rail when he shot that last thing. That's really. The cube ball hit No. No. Taking this. Look at this touch. Look at this touch. I might bank this ball here, two rails back up there, and try to move something around here and put the cue ball down there. I might bank the nine. It goes, yeah, I see that. I mean, he's not even looking at it. That's what I just thought he might do. Move yeah, but, but I mean, it's, it's, it's not getting anything accomplished. That's what I'm talking about. I was trying to hit it harder and move them balls around, maybe not something this way, but, yeah, but, you know. You know, one pocket's funny. It, you, a lot of times there's only one shot to shoot, just there's one particular right. shot. And then sometimes there's two or three options. And some people sometimes like one shot more than the other. They're more comfortable with a certain type of shot. Yes. You know what I mean, Eddie? Yes. Uh, early in my career at one time, to me, the, the right shot, I considered it was the right shot mm -hmm. all the time. Uh, but then later on, I changed my mind, mm -hmm. and it's and because it's execution. Mm -hmm. You know the right shot, but you can't execute it. Yeah. So oh, it's yeah. not the right shot. Yeah. It's a it's a solo. I just won me a dollar. Thank you, Boosty. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I'm one of them. <laughs> you'll get you'll get eaten. <laughs> somehow, somewhere. Mark it up. Mark it up. <laughs> So you know what I do here? <laughs> what? Here, here you just forget all the other balls because you can't do tricks. The shot's tough enough to begin with. You just try to make it. The seven you're talking about? Yeah, yeah. forget where the cue ball goes. Because it's going to go in behind there anyway. He might run into them. Yeah. No, he, he's just going to hit it high and, you know, normal. And the cue ball probably go over where the... Behind the ball. Where the one and five is. Well, that's a good shot. I guess so. <laughs> oh, he owed two. Yeah, look at that. Yep, only owes one now. Yeah, but, but now some more balls are in play. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that's, that's good, for, you know, but, but it's not as, half as bad. Look at this. He can make this. That's a horrible shot. Man. I don't know if he can make that. He can spin this ball. Yeah, yeah, look. 
can hit the, yeah, he can spin this ball on easy. Really? Easy. Yeah, look. Easy. I can't believe he did. No wonder I can't. Oh, I'm push. Push. Yeah, it was like a hanger. You should try and get behind him. Oh, no. Yeah. He missed it. But he, he was trying to get behind the tent. Uh -huh. Oh, missed it. He missed it bad. That was a good shot. Can he make the one? I don't think so. Mm -mm. But he's young. You know, he can bank this ball over there and stay behind the balls and maybe hit him straight in on the two. Maybe, or he'll just go and put the cue ball on those balls, maybe jack him up. What do you think? Yeah, he's got, he's going to put the cue ball on his balls. I'll tell you what I would do. What? I'd cut the, the nine into the six and, play the and bring the cue ball over to the 11. And, and the six would go in his pocket. And the nine. And, and the nine. I see it, yeah. He's going, he's, he's, kind of, he's looking to do the same thing only with one ball. With the ball, you know. Big deal. This, this is no good. I put him on the, on the 11, let him shoot that ball. <laughs> yeah, you put him on the rail, he can't shoot this ball. I know he can, but he, but he might. He might. But he can only get one. And if he misses, he might lose three or four balls. Yeah. Right. Yeah, he wouldn't. I have no idea what he's looking at there. He's not trying to make this. No. Uh, well, it's foolish to make this ball. You don't want to put more balls no. in play. Yeah, he don't want, what would he want to be, move this ball for? Especially if he locks, especially if he, that was a small. wrong shot. Now, now instead of three balls down there, now you got four balls. Yeah, that was not the, that. Which one is his mind? Is his mind? Can't tell anything now. Oh, that's better.
Nice touch. They only, they only do that in Manila. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Effort is that fantastic. Yeah. You think you think Efren would have beat Ronnie in Ronnie's prime? No chance. I agree. You're the first. Because Ronnie in his prime could play, could execute well, and he'd always beat Efren to the shot. Because mm -hmm. he knew more. Mm -hmm. You're one of the few people other than me that agrees with that. I, and you've seen Ronnie play a lot more than me, but I've seen him play quite a bit in the, in the early 70s. Ronnie would always beat him to the shot. Yeah. But the thing is, Ronnie would beat him to the shot before he died today, but he can't do anything, can't get out. Yeah. And two balls are missed. Well, you know, he's dead now, of course. I know. Yeah. I, saw, I went to the hospital the morning that he died, and I didn't. He just died before I got there, but he was in bad shape. He probably weighed he 300 pounds. He was in bad pounds. shape for a couple of years. Yeah. I don't get this. This is a, a kiss. No? Hmm. See, this is wrong. He's, he's supposed to kick, kick it this soft. Yeah. Well, he's going to move both balls here, but yeah, but he's, he needs them down there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you don't want to play the game for the other guy. Shots like that. You just give your opponent a chance to just put more above that table and put you down. Mm -hmm. You should have put him. Mm -hmm. You know, if you put a guy on, on any rail, it eliminates 50% of what he can do with the cue. That's why. Uh... That's why I think Artie played so good. He had such good cue ball control. He's freezing you on the rail. Like I never seen Artie play when he play, when he could play. You know, when I when I was a kid, twenty in my twenties, when I went to Chicago, the best player was Bugs. Mm -hmm. I knew Bugs pretty well. He steered me around Chicago in some of those black pool rooms there. Him and the Romberg. He was a good kid. He was, a, yeah. Him and then the next player I run into is uh, Mexican Johnny. I know Johnny really well. He he had to leave Chicago. <laughs> I played him in Gary, uh, Gary, Indiana. Johnny played all games pretty good too. Yeah, bank yeah. good, had good in bar tables. Yeah. Couldn't well, keep, I'm, couldn't I'm keep him out of the racetrack. Before bar tables. Yeah. I'll tell you, a guy. I hope people aren't tired of us telling these stories, but whatever. It's what we do. We ha listen. When I was doing the commentary last year, I had a kid peep something. We have to keep the old timers alive in our in our hearts, in our minds. I'll tell you who I went out with for lunch, had a few drinks with the guy, and everything. We haven't never talked about him, and I know you know him, Marvin Henderson. 
I haven't seen Marvin Henderson in 100 years. This was in Detroit when I was hanging around with him for a couple of days. Oh. Oh, I, I thought you meant you saw him not, not too Oh, long. no, this is 35 years. What a years. beautiful stroke. Yeah. And not only that, he could play all games. Yeah. He played three cushion, too. And I'll tell you one more. That was a really good buddy of mine who I played. I beat him on the bar table a couple of times playing nine ball in California. J.C. Chapman, Cannonball. Oh, Cannonball. I remember Cannonball. He played everything good, too. Yeah, but he didn't, believe me, he didn't play like uh, that kid from Pittsburgh, Marvin Henderson. I yeah. mean, uh, yeah, Marvin. Yeah. Marvin played terrific. See that's why that's why you got to do everything to move balls mm -hmm. when you're when you're down in the score. When you when you're the other side, you, oh, yeah. you want to keep them all. Up there. Yeah. If, if it's me, guy beats me. He's gonna have to bank eight. Yeah. And Eddie One just might do it. And Eddie might do well, it. Well, that's different. Eddie was different. He played a different. He played on a different planet. That's a pretty shot there, but it. But it they don't do nothing. Not do, no. You gotta move balls. You know what's funny? I'll tell you how it's funny. It's a scratch. It, yeah. It's funny how when people be playing this game, they'll try to shoot just <clears throat> easy enough to get to the rail. Like, dude, make sure you get there, even if it bounces right. off a little bit. Like, if you're shooting a shot too easy and it don't, it don't get to the rail, that's weak. Yeah, Because <laughs> what different, you know, I mean, freezing the ball is nice in certain Especially situations. Especially when there's any pressure. Exactly. It's like, it's like, did you play the tournament? Uh, uh, did I play red in the finals? Up in yeah, I come in fourth. Okay. It came down to where he needed one. We both had three games. Uh -huh. He needed one, and I needed two. There was two balls on the table. So I banked the ball, and then I got a long bank. Mm -hmm. And remember, those tables were real slow. Mm -hmm. I turned to Red, and I said, I might not make this ball, but it will reach the hole. Yeah. And I hit it 100 miles an hour and got lucky, and it won. It went. I remember you played good in that event. I do remember that. You played good. Yeah, I had a, I had a couple of flashbacks. You know, yeah. Because I was working at the same. That was in 2003. Right. Yeah. No, it was earlier than that. No, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Yeah, because I was working at the same. 2003 was when I got put in the Hall of Fame. I wasn't even working. <coughs> We're telling these stories here because there's nothing to talk about right now. But I'll tell you, uh, the, funniest, the funniest thing I've ever heard a, 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 pool, a pool director say, a tournament director, is that tournament we was in in, in Reno at Grady's, right? So Grady's the comp, he's the director, right? And he's also playing. So uh, Grady gets on the microphone. He says, here's the deal. <laughs> He says, I want to address all you backers. He says, uh, he says, if any of my if any of these pool players owe you money, if it's been longer than a year, the statute of limitations is up. He says it's even, nobody owes money, nothing. That's funny. And then and then he also says, he says, I'll tell you something else. He says, if any pool players are on tables practicing for for a match and uh, the guy wants to have a money game, he says, you gotta give it up. He shoots so good, it's sick. He's making every every shot's tough. Yeah, and he's splitting the pocket. You know, I tell you something. I knew I played. I played Grady like ten times in my life. I played him. Well, not ten times, but I played him myself. You know, I beat him on the when he owned it. Pulled him in Denver at Colorado Springs. I beat him playing bar tables, and he beat me playing one pocket there. I believe really had no chance actually. But this score even improved at all. You know. But uh, people, people, 
you know, his the last of his career, last before he died, he was playing horrible. He couldn't make a ball. Well, he's but he's old. old. But I'm gonna tell you something. And he was sick. And at one time, let me tell you something. That guy could play. No kid. And I'll tell you something else that he did that other people couldn't do. Is he bet his own cash and never ducked a living human. He played everybody that would get to the post. I've seen him play everybody. And he played good for his money. Yes, he did. Great, he played good for his money. It's, it was sad to see in the last of his career how people was like. He played good all, 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 all three games. He played everything good. I played him in Memphis. I played him in California. I played him in, just pulled him in Colorado Springs. He was a trip, boy. He's trying to go into his ball and get a shot on that 13. Look at this. Yeah, he put himself in the stack. Can't go that way. He's, what do you? I don't know what he's gonna do here, Eddie. What do you think? Can he? Can he hit this ball and just freeze him on the thirteen? Can he hit the six and nine? He, he should go off the one and try to get to the end on the rail. end rail. Try yeah. to get to this rail down here. And then he's gonna bank bank this ball back to where he is. Yeah, but this way, see, he's, he's opening those two balls yeah. up too. See. You gotta get him real. Well, that's, that's a nice shot. Oh, yeah. Cause he, only because he didn't have anything. And no one else is going to be out of his game. If this kid tries to spin this ball in with right hand, it looks he's like he's not even scratched. Yeah, he should. He's going to bank the eight. Or not the eight, this ball right there, whatever that is. Yeah, but that gives, that gives boost, if he don't make it, that gives Bruce and a chance to knock it yeah, out. Yeah, look what he's doing with it. He hit the ball first. Uh huh. At least that, that gives Bruce a shot to, you know, get out of lunch. <sighs> what do you do every day? Any just hang around the house? I uh, I do a lot of reading and I do a lot of TV watching and. And uh, I was going into the uh, uh, the pool sharks uh, pool room before they closed. Well, then you'll be uh, opening back up like another month. Yeah, well, on a different owner. Yeah, Mark Griffin. Mark Griffin, he, he's investing a lot of money. I guess it's going to be really nice. Uh, yeah, don't, it's it's going to be beautiful. Don't know how well it's going to, you know. You know, he he's uh, he's got his own opinion of what you know, what he should have. Mm -hmm. you know, he's going to have eight four and eight nines. He's have seventeen bar tables. Mm -hmm. It's it's a tough neighborhood down there. He'll three, have a beautiful three. room. See, this kid's got a bank of five. Take the five and put him down by the eight and mm -hmm. put him back in the Behind six. them balls, yeah. Yeah. yeah pretty good, too. No. I, he, he didn't hit it good. Over well, we cut the rent. He hit it real bad. Yeah, just put him on the end rail, that's all. What? See, that's no good. You got to get the ball of the side pocket. Bank this ball back over there and float down there and make exactly. this ball. Exactly. And make that ball down there. Yeah. Just like that. Get on top of them balls like that. Because, just like that. Because the other guy executed it badly. Mm -hmm. 
But if he puts the law in our private society, we can't do that. Right. This ball might go too real. Just stop right there, but do we have an audience listening to this? Maybe. You mean on, well, in, on in, the internet? In case y'all are out there listening to uh, to me, don't pay any attention to me. I, <laughs> I'm running my mouth a little too much here. <laughs> I like this shot too well. It just keeps playing right here. Just excellent shot. A little weak, man. He's yeah, still, yeah. Little weak, but little it's weak. still it's still cool. Oh yeah. What's he looking at? He's got to do his cross to eat. Mm -hmm. what, else, what else can he do? Oh, I, he, he, he came out of it all right, but I, he couldn't pretty make good. me do that with, with your money. Pretty good shot, though, from, it turned out. <laughs> it turned out real good. But I would like, just would put it back down there and let the A lot of things could have happened. Yeah. You could have scratched your side. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, when you're ahead and score, oh, no, it's he's not. pretty close now. Four to three, boost the money. Oh, that's different. <laughs> yeah. Then that, then that might not have been the wrong shot. And earlier it was four to a minus two. Yeah. So he's made yeah. six balls to so Tony Owen one. Look at that touch. Pardon me? Um, Rianza? Warren Costanza. Oh, I've known him for 100 years, sure. I beat him in one pocket when I was 20. Yeah. What we to we win. never we never played we played partners mm -hmm. one time, but uh, no, he was I, a good friend of mine. Him and I went to Mexico together for like a weekend. He's a, we had a really good time. Talking about Warren Costanza. I know him. I know him real well. He's a sharp kid, good card player too. He showed me some stuff with cards. He showed a lot. Of it. You know what his nickname was in Phoenix when I met him? Silent Pete. Because he never oh, he, he never said he, nothing. He was a yeah. quiet. He never spoke. You know, but I knew him. He around. never bothered anybody. No, I knew him real well. I miss that ball bad. Yeah. Man, it's, uh... Yeah, that See, you got to go for this, even though you, you might lose the game. You got to go for this because you get out if you win. If you make one more, you get out. Yeah, it's not that tough a shot either from there. Coming like that, yeah, coming short, yeah. Seven because if you play for the five, you don't have to hit, 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 hit that the, ball, yeah, and you don't have a shot. Just coming short, and you'll spin right, right by the ball. Right. Oh, I don't understand. I didn't miss that. I mean, that's... Maybe he must have got sharp or something, or took his eye off of him. You, you and I both know. You know. You could, Everybody thinks the shot's supposed to go all the time. You get distracted. Oh, yeah. Just one millisecond, yeah. take her off the ball. You miss the ball. Nothing's, I mean, nothing rides automatic. I get a kick, uh, you know, nowadays. 
the, you know, the sweaters, the pool spectators, mm -hmm. they, they learned you know, how to say, uh, you know, mm -hmm. you know yeah. deal of good. You double kiss the ball. De La Burry says, everybody says he balls it. He says, can't they get a guy miss a ball once in a while? Just play and miss yeah. it? He says, I miss him in practice. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I used to love watching Ronnie play, man. He talked, what a character was in the old mind of God. He, if, if he didn't make you mad, I, you were like a pope. He, had he, he was brutal. Oh, man. man, he was brutal, I'm telling you. Really quick. And it didn't make any difference what you were playing. Really, really fast. As I busted him on the proposition game in 1970, right? So he was broke. So I staked him to play a game for three hundred dollars, which was a pretty good bet in nineteen seventy. Okay. He was listen who he played. He played Bill Amadeo a game of straight pool to 150 points for three hundred dollars, right? Amadeo's got him like a hundred and forty to well, eighteen. Amadeo's a better player at straight pool. Ronnie started an argument with him and we went next door and drank for two hours while the game was in process. He came back we came back and Ronnie runs like a hundred and thirty out on him. With the cash. Yeah, but he's, he don't figure. No, no, he doesn't. But, but it was so funny. Because he. Who's that? Oh. It's me. <laughs> you got you get top billing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> It's because I'm a little younger. You're but the better me, player. But, but let me tell you something. They played all day. Oh, my, I'm, oh. Amadeo. Rob, was Rob. Not close. Yeah. That Bill would run two, three hundred balls. Yeah. He was a good player. He knew how to play straight. But oh, yeah. He's from New York. That's what, that's what they play in New York. But Ronnie beat him that game. Amadeo, I thought his head was going to explode. He, he quit. He was so mad. And he told Ronnie was doing something in a. He says, Ronnie, you do, sit down while I'm shooting. And Ronnie says, you can't tell me what to do. And that, that's what started it. You know how Ronnie was. I took the breaking ball in hand, gave Ronnie all the balls. See, nine see balls. He, he couldn't do that with me. If he was playing me, go and drink with you uh -huh. two hours. Because I'd go with him and drink. <laughs> yeah, well, we'd all be sitting there. That was in my drinking days. Yeah. 30 years since I had a drop. Good for you. Yeah, it can be a trap if you get it, if you let it get the best of you, that's a no doubt. Oh, it had the best of me. Mm -hmm. Genetically, I got that. I got that from my father. Look at this, he's going to be trying to roll this ball and come in between these two balls, rail first, watch. He's going to try and hit the thing, too. He's going in between them. In between them, I'm telling you, he's going in between them. <coughs> Cut this ball in, just whack this ball in. A little bit of inside. Oh, no, he's not going to shoot you wait that. He's got to shoot it. Oh, no, he's not going to shoot I can't tell that. from here. Look, it looks to me like the ball goes from here. Really? No, it doesn't over there, though. No. <laughs> nah. Oh, no, that's it's way a, too far. No, not that much more off, Eddie. Do you think? Just, yeah. just a hair. I don't think it's possible. Maybe it is. Uh, yeah. Well, if anyone can do it, he can. Oh do it. yeah. It is. It's if a, if it was like a half a ball over. And he's right-handed, so it's so you don't have to worry about. Oh, it. God, he might shoot at it. We're going to see here. 
Well, he's I'm gonna, telling you. Where's he going to shoot? The, he's going to cut the 13. Yeah. You, you hit hit the cue ball with like 9 o'clock and go you, back and forth. You were talking about the 5. No, 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 no. I'm talking about this. Oh, oh well, not okay. the 5. The 5 number. This one here. Just like that. Oh, okay. He spun it. He was outside. He spun it. In. But he's got to shoot that ball. Oh, I yeah. thought you were talking about Oh, no, 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 no. No, I meant that. I was talking about the 13. <coughs> the heat is on here shooting this ball. He said, we got another ball hanging. Oh my God, how good did he hit it? It's pretty impressive, that's all I can tell you. Well, it's not impressive what he did with the cube. No, just to make the ball. I would, yeah, but I. Uh... You're going to shoot at the ball like that. You, you might as well play safe. I mean, play position. I think, is he following this ball in? No. Looks like he is. Yeah, he was trying to. Look at that. So what has he got, seven? Yeah, he's got seven, seven to five. He's try, he was trying to follow that ball in. He might scratch him. On the side? It's over. So mm -mm. ain't going. It's over anyway. All right, let me ask you a shot that I shoot. I'll shoot for my money. As you know, when there's two balls on the spot, you got mm -hmm. ball in hand. We try to make that head ball straight in. Depends on the score. Depends on the score. Yeah. But what if there's only two balls on the table and you need one? If I need one, I'm not shooting. So. I think I. I, I can make it pretty regular. I think I'm yeah, cheating. I know. Billy Cardone thinks the same thing. <laughs> well, I, I I want the guy to bank two and out for me yeah. when I need one. Of course, I feel like I'm not moving many. Yeah. <laughs> He's got to shoot a shot. He's kind of in the jam here. Oh, no, I, I, I got I to turn around. Here. Yeah, because this is Boosty's hole. He's kind of he's kind of in a jam here. Yeah. You know he can't lag. You know I mean he's look at he's. I'd shoot of, the eight. I'd bank the eight. I would too. I'm like you. Slow roll it. And try to put, you just hang it in the hole and make it and put yeah. him on the rail. That's it. He hit it. He hit he it made all right. It? Yeah, he hit it. Oh my God. He, he better. I'm shooting this ball jacked up pretty hard and knock that ball out of the way. Well, you gotta just roll it, just try to make it. You, have, you win the game. I'm, I'm, I'm hitting this 100 miles Because the now. only guy can't get out. That's what he watches. Watch. That's what I'm doing right there. That's me. He, he, he did it That's perfect. me. That's me. That's what I'm doing. But he could have scratched, oh, yeah. you know. I liked what he did. That's the way I would have shot it. Anyway, uh, Wade Crane has played better against me than any living human. And I played. I he played. Had the, he had the, the I tools. Played, I, had, I played Matt Locke and all them guys. And Billy. He, he run a. 15 racks on me on the bar table in, I didn't in right. Frank's oh, tavern. Bar table, bar okay. table yeah. Yeah. Uh, Are they back playing? No. I was playing him eight ahead for 800. So he beats me on my 800. These backers come up. I said, I got a game. I said, I'm stealing. I said, you got to stake me. And he done, beat, he done beat everybody in California. Billy did. So we're playing eight ahead. He's giving me the last two. Big deal. And playing eight it's ahead. something. Playing eight ahead for 800 on the bar table. I had him 16 stuck. And the backers come in. And they thought, you know, you're playing. I said, yeah. They said, you know, he's the best player in the country. I said, yeah, but I'm 16 no, winner. Not, no, he was not the best On the bar table, he was. He might have been on the bar table. I, I, I tell you what he did. Uh, I watched him give Siegel the eight on the big table and, and upstairs at the Bellflower. He played mighty good. I, I, I wouldn't get involved in that match. 
you know, if, maybe that's, some, if that's the way it was. Yeah, you're probably right. He just, didn't like it with me. Well, who, not, listen, not many people liked it with you. <laughs> I, you could, I, I beat that guy in, in Georgia we were playing in Macon. Me and Horace Harper. On the road. Horace Harper. Yeah, well, Horace Harper was there. But, but, Sammy Blumenthal. No, that, Jamie was in Jackson. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, and then Wade Crane came in and knocked me to, to the guy that owned the joint. The guy that owned really? the joint. Yeah. He told me, you know, I want to talk to And, and he went back. I went back. We'll, we'll get back to this story in a minute. Yeah. Because I want to hear it. <laughs> I'm telling you something, all you pool fans. You might think I'm crazy, but... uh. I am so privileged to be talking to Ed Kelly. I'm telling you the truth. This guy is like one of the greatest all-around players of all times. And that's a fact. Believe me, it's well, a fact. Thank you, John. It's a fact. I loved, I remember in that one pocket term, I love watching you play one pocket because you're so creative and, and play good. There's no doubt about it. It's the best game as far as I'm concerned. Oh, yeah. I hope he's see, game. See if if you play other games, they all uh, benefit mm -hmm. your one pocket game. Mm -hmm. If you play three cushion, if you play straight pool, mm -hmm. if you play bank, well banks goes without saying. Mm -hmm. uh, but any straight pool, you know, you get a shot. You, you, if you don't straight pool, you can get out easier because of your choice of shots. So everything contributes it to one pocket. This is Tony's pocket right here, correct? I guess he broke. Yeah, it must be. I can't tell. I got it must be. If this is his pocket, he's supposed to bank this ball and spin over here and just bank it over here. I believe that's what he's doing. I mean, if he, I don't know what he's looking at. This is like a, it's like a no-brainer. Yeah, well, he, he just he, hit it terrible. He hit it terrible. He should have hit he it more. Lucky. And luck, he could have maybe kissed it off this ball. But the thing is, he's got to play the cue ball. That's the important part, right, right. Eddie? Right. Just like if you're playing golf on a on a on a golf course, you, you're in a sand trap or something. Something you, you got to do a couple of things right. But one thing might be more important than the other thing. Mm-hmm. So you got to make sure you do that one. Make sure you get it out of the trap. <laughs> He's thinking about trying to kick at this ball, bank that ball over there, but boy, that can be a bad deal if he hits this bad. he got to make sure he comes up. Yeah, he's in a little bad trouble here. It's doable, but boy, he better, yeah, he gotta but be. it's no good. It's, it's no good because no. he let the cue ball wild. Yeah, he's got to hit it perfect. To, yeah. to stop right there, but yeah, yeah, I don't like that. He hit it as good as he well, hit it. Well, I tell you what, he hit it perfect. He did. He did it, it good. But it's no good anyway because you could shoot this, this ball here. Yeah, yeah. Can he? I believe he can. Just slide that ball in and, and maybe it don't go by the ten. Looks like it goes to me, I don't know. <laughs> He's gotta shoot it. He, oh this is this is crazy. Maybe you don't see it. What what what's that Eddie? I was listening to what they were saying. What's that? This ball. Mm -hmm. Not the ball on the rail, the next one. Well, this is his pocket right here. Oh, oh. Yeah, this is his hole over here. No wonder I can't be able to. That's, that's a great shot. Great shot. Yep. But I'll tell you one thing. You see, he don't have any strength on his. <coughs> Oh. 
you know, he got unlucky there. He hit into the stack, but he, he didn't get kisses that he should have Oh, he can't got. shoot this. this oh, he, what is he doing? Oh, that's just this all of it. I'm all turned around right at this Me moment. Me too. He's playing a three. No, that's right. Yeah, yeah. That's the right shot. Oh, he got a real bad roll. There. Really unlucky there not to get a shot after that ball. Got a terrible roll there. He can shoot this ball. Bank this ball into this ball here, right? He, he can actually force a cue ball ahead and pass all these balls. Just like that. That was unlucky. Not to catch that ball on the rail. See, but here, here he can he can shoot the the ball that's next to the one and bring the cue ball up the rail and leave it straight in on the five. Mm. And the, and the one might make the five. I mean the the thirteen. Yeah. He don't see it. Yeah. Believe maybe me. the one's too close to, to the hole to going toward the pocket, maybe. No. It's not. Can't tell from here. I don't know what he's If he's at. shooting the 11, I don't know what he's doing there. Because there's no either. shot on the 11. He can't shoot the two rails, and there's no shot. I mean, what's he even looking at? There's nothing to look at there. I don't like this. He's not doing it. He's anything. banking the three ball, three rail. No. No. That's all you want. What else can. Unless he's just going to thin it, leave you straight in. Th three, three rails. He's drunk. One, watch, watch, watch. What'd you say? <laughs> Look at the cue ball. The cue, cue ball. He's inside. It goes right the <laughs> The cue ball goes three rails with the cue ball. Well, that's He's why I quit. The <laughs> <laughs> Is that the, that might be the best shot of the match? You see this split the pocket and the cue ball goes it's, three it, rails. It's the best result. I mean, what a shot that was! Now he comes up. I'm going into this ball right here, or he, no, it's twelve just, two goes. Just go up and play the combination. Yeah, next. it goes. Just aim it straight in. Twelve and four, or two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we can actually, if you got to cut it, draw back into the nine and shoot the eight next. Right. He, he'd probably get out here. That's how much shot he made on the three, wasn't it? Yeah. Three reels. I can't see what score. You know, when I saw him winding up that big stroke, I thought, he's going. <laughs> That's the hell of a shot he made. I wouldn't have shot that with Confederate money. He just gonna draw right to the nine here like this. Nice, nice shot. He's got to draw this straight back, straight back, and try it at the fourteen. Yeah. This is a little touch, a little touchy. Bank the six and just go into the cue ball into the, into the ball there. See what I'm saying? No, he's looking to get out. He's going to bank the six and have the cue ball run into the four and stop the cue Yeah, ball. it's a good shot. I don't know. I didn't even know he could see the six. Yeah. Could bank the eight. Remember Cuban Joe? Yeah. He come to Memphis in '65 with Toby. Toby run nine racks. Toby Sweet. He run nine racks on me on a big table. Toby Sweet was a good player. Yeah. Good kid too. Yeah, he played good against me. Thirty dollars a game in 1967. Nine racks. I didn't shoot on a tough gold crown. 
He's still alive. Then Florida. Butch talks to him all the time. Brooklyn Butch. Where's he at? He's in San Diego. He calls me every once in a while, and, and, I, and I, I limit him to 45 minutes. He's a trip, ain't he, Brooklyn Butch? He's a trip. And then I say, that's it, Butch. 45 minutes. He said, what, do you got me on time? I said, yes, I do. <laughs> I love Butch. He's a funny guy. You talk about tough guy. Oh, I know. He's really tough. I know he is. Cecil pulled the gun on him. And he chased him down the street for two blocks, trying to take the gun away from him. I'm telling you. Yeah, he did. He had, he had no fear. I know. Yeah, I know Butch pretty well. Cecil was a nut. Oh yeah. I wonder what last time I last hmm? last time I saw Brooklyn Butch here a couple of years ago here in town. He had on this white hat and white. Yeah. He was, because he, he lost all his hair. Yeah. yeah oh. He looked like he looked like somebody back in the flapper days. You know? It was a straw hat. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 That's all he buys. Yeah. So and he got a million. Of them. Yeah. What he buys. Well, I'm he, glad to hear he's he, around. He don't buy no cheap hats. He goes to a hat store. I'm glad it. to hear he's still around. I wonder. Yeah. I said, whatever happened to Butch? He's in San Diego. Brooklyn Butch. Billy just, you know, wanted to match effort. We did effort match, and uh, with. Uh, Pat uh, Fleming stuff. He had plastic. Yeah. You know. Uh, Let me ask somebody if they can hear us. I hope they can. What do you want? I'm just wondering if they can hear us down there. I don't think they can hear us. <coughs> I'll tell you what. I've got to excuse myself to go to the boys' room. All right, buddy. <laughs> Hang in there, crowd. I'll hold down the fort. in a little bit of a tough spot here. I think he's either going to come off the nine and go behind this ball in front of his hole, I think the 14, or he can thin the 12. I don't like this shot. This is this is tough. He's trying to spin down the rail. Boy, he hit it good, too. That was not easy, folks. Nice shot. Nice shot. Hard shot to judge. He could have done it two other ways. It looked like it's a little easier, but he, he, you know, once again, he was confident in knowing how to hit those balls. That bo that ball. Trying to freeze him on these balls. No, he didn't. He didn't get there. He did not get there. Boy, he might have got lucky spotting that ball. He did, I believe, because he was in. He was in big trouble if that dog ball don't spot. It's a 15, like dead cross corner, and he can float up behind that ball. Bobby, it was a hell of a first game, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. <coughs> well, he just about moved everything to his side. And nothing goes. <laughs> and yeah. Nothing, and nothing goes. <laughs> Jimmy and, uh, I mean, uh, Bobby, in about an hour, we're, we're going to 
kind of changing of the guard. We'll have, I uh, hope you don't mind if we put uh, Jimmy Mattia with you. Oh my God. Uh, I'm, I'm prepping him because this is a little bit of a different uh, room, you know what I mean? Anyway, Ed's back, so I'm going to give this a when will he be coming in? In a ten hour. Okay. I was just, I was just, just remembering the last, the very last time I did any commentary was your match. When I played Di Liberto. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Guess who's coming in here in an hour from now? What? Guess who's coming in to fill in an hour from now? Mattia. Jimmy. Yeah. Jimmy's good. Yeah. Oh yeah. He's a good kid. I like Jimmy. I always like Jimmy. He could play too. He's a character. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> no doubt about that. I met him. He was sixteen. He came to, to town. You can only call him Pete the Painter on the street. What? You can only call him Pete the Painter. Oh yeah, I saw that. Uh, right. I was a little far fetched. You remember Bernie Schwartz? No, well, Did good you? friend of mine. He was a pretty fair player too. One time, great player. Yeah, I was nine ball, great. Mm -hmm. player. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't know what he sold out. He sold out one. Ball, what the hell are you trying to do? I think he had a weird angle on the ball, Ed. Now, would you go ahead and try to bank this ball across the corner? Probably, should, should, yeah. Yeah, you got to about make this ball. Yeah, right? yeah. No, that was... That was well, I don't know what he did there. He's trying to bank it over there and his force fall off it behind that ball, but I would just went ahead and try to make the ball. You know, that's... I mean, that's you, what I thought he was doing. You got to be able to shoot. I mean, you got to be able to make that ball from there. You know what though? They've got they they in the last few years they've got these pool tables so jacked up. These pockets are just stupid. They got these pockets three and three and three eighths and three and it takes away from it takes away from everything because you got to be able to shoot the ball inside the hole sometimes. You got to be able to you know you just can't you just can't shoot every ball dead center. It takes it's taken away from the game. Well, it's not only that, you know, when they use it, that cheap cart. This cart seems all right. This cloth seems pretty good, but the cloth like they had in Pool Shark, it got a little worn. It was like I, on ice, you couldn't draw the ball. Yeah. And if you touch a rail, the ball won't go in. I know, that's no good. You got to have some nap under, under the ball to draw it. Yeah. There is no nap, the ball, you hit the other object ball, the ball stops and spins on, on ice. Yeah. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I tell, I tell players, when, you, when you're out of stroke, when you're out of stroke, you want to play on big pockets. Oh, yeah. When you get in stroke, then you want to play on little pockets. Mm -hmm. Because you play on little pockets when you're out of stroke, all you do is get frustrated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like 
the show. I do too. Two rails. Mm -hmm. That's his hole. Right? No, that's his hole over there. I like it spinning like this, boom, boom, and hitting here. That's not a bad shot. Maybe you get too much of an angle. What I do here is go off the five, room on the end rail. Yeah, he can. That's all. Well, then he can bank the eight into those balls. You know. Not with the five up there. The five comes up by the side. Good shot. Well, I didn't see that. I, I wasn't even looking it. at it. I didn't see I it. I didn't either. And I was looking and I didn't see it. Did Jimmy ever played one pocket, did he? Not much. No, no he, he, he didn't like it. No. He liked nine balls. Straight, he played pretty good straight. Uh -huh. Does that top ball go? This ball goes, yeah, this ball here goes. Really? The 10 or whatever it is. Uh, yeah, see, I... No, it don't. It, it goes doesn't? straight in. You're right. That's perfect. That's perfect. Go right into the... Go right in between these two balls. Uh-huh. Yeah, a seven and a twelve. Yeah. Perfect. Well, not perfect, but it's he's pretty good. The only good. thing he's got a shot now. Oh yeah, he could shoot. He could shoot this ball. He could shoot that ball. Cut that ball in. Oh. Mm -mm. Unless I'm going. No, you're going. You're blind. going. You're going blind. He, that ball don't go. And I gotta go to the bathroom again. Oh yeah, he can. No, that yeah, ball. Can. Yeah, sure he can. No, we'll see. I don't think he's gonna shoot, he shoot it. it. I bet he's gonna watch. We'll see. Let me know. When I All that. right. <laughs> Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you, Daniel. I appreciate it, buddy. Once again, fans, the reason why this this a little tricky keeping score is because um, we can't uh, see the end of the table to where the balls are being stored, and we're looking at a monitor, you know, so it's hard. If you blink and turn your head, a guy can make a ball, and you really can't tell because we can't see the, the tray.
Hell of a shot there, buddy. Well, was a heck of a shot there. Tony just kicked this ball in. Boy, you got a little murder there. U2 is one of the best bands ever. Aren't they, Daniel? It's funny you mentioned that. I was just going to go into the jukebox and get Unforgettable Fire up there. Um, are you, is that a U2 song? Great band. I love yeah, that I band. Love They're that. the best. They're the best. I don't know. I can't imagine Bush and Money leaving him that shot. Wow. Six to three is a score. That's nine and six is 15. He missed it. No, nice shot. And this is the one he's got to make. He's got to roll the six in. Beautiful shot. Beautiful shot. And that is not easy, folks. Not easy. He needs two. No, no, he needs three. Boost money's got six. Shot. I guess they need two apiece. Look at this shot. A little harder. Oh my God, look at this shot. Thank you for I just can't. Look. He shot at it, the one you said, but he missed it a mile, but he shot at it. Oh, yeah. They cut shot, but he missed it bad. Miss, you miss. Yeah, but he, I mean, it looked like he was trying to bank it. <laughs> he hit a bad. But he did shoot at it. But you just see what, what you just see what what Tony did. Look at this. this you see what just Look how perfect he got. But you all see what Tony just did. He's got him locked up and shot a goofy bank and left him the shot. John. Thank you.
It looks like it's going. Yeah. Wow. In other words, I, wow. if, I, if I wanted to say something to him, well, I didn't want it to go over the air. Can I do that? Um. Well, that's too complicated. Nah, we ain't worry about is, it. This is your channel. Yeah. This is the volume knob for your channel. Oh. This channel only. One, two, three, four. Three, four. Okay, I see where it's at. It's about four white. o'clock. Yeah. Uh, turn the white knob all the way down. And then I'll turn it back to get back on. But you can, they can hear you in his mic. So I would just, I would just go like this. Yeah. Just, just it's all right. Just I don't to the side. <laughs> I don't want to tell him any of my secrets anymore. Listen, <laughs> do you really read? Do you really read at home? Do you really read books? I'm reading a book right now uh, by Sebastian Hafner called uh, Defying Hitler. You, you will love my book. I'm telling you, you got to read it. But I didn't know you had a book. Oh, you want to book? Everybody loves it, I'm telling you. Well, I never seen it. I'm going to give you one if you'll read it. Of course I'll read it. You'll love it, it, Eddie. You'll love it, I'm telling you. I'm going to write my it, own book, but it's, it's going to be wild. a lot. This is wild. <coughs> wild. Because I know I'm running with all the gangsters. It's wild. You'll know. You'll see. I know a few Ty- gangsters myself. A couple of a couple of those Titanics, his hen- henchmen were buddies of mine. I was with Ty for 30 days. Yeah. On the road. He was a little dangerous himself. <laughs> yeah, imagine. <laughs> He sent about five people to, to see Jesus. Yep. He, oh, I'll he, tell you he, a character. Would, I only met, in my opinion, two geniuses in my life, and he was the first, He was one. I tell you another one that was a smart man. You might not agree. Was that Cleo Vaughn? Cleo Vaughn was a sharp guy. He was sharp. He booked everything. He booked all sports except football. Football, he, he would get the line from, from other bookmakers and he would bet it. Uh-huh. Because <laughs> he liked I just it. forgot who I was going to mention. Not Detroit Whitey. Oh, God. Detroit Whitey. <laughs> I, knew, I met him when I was 14 years old. He weighed 140 pounds, yeah. long blonde hair. Believe it or not, yeah. he was a good-looking kid. He w- he came to New York City. He beat everybody in New York. Really? Everybody. Well, I didn't know he played gave, that good. Gave Blackie was seven. I saw it. I never knew he played that good. Blackie went to the bathroom all over himself. I can't help it if you're listening, Blackie. The Blackie's dead. Then he's, he's he still might he's, be listening. He's listening. From down there. <laughs> Do you ever know Jack Taylor? Sure. <laughs> you know he's still around. Jack Taylor, tall, thin. No, he was he was our oh, size. You, oh, you're talking about Alfie's brother. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a different Jack Taylor. Yeah, I knew him. Texas. Mm-hmm. Last time I saw him was in Burbank, California. I'd thin, I would thin. I knew Alfie pretty good. I would thin this ball, put it right down on the rail. That's what I'm doing. Right? What else you gonna do? What pocket? He's got this pocket. This is just Tony's pocket right here. I'd thin the 11 and put him on the end rail. Wouldn't you? What else are you going to do? That's the right shot. I can't see. Thin the 11 and you just go to the rail. That's the shot. See, there's nothing, yeah. nothing to look at there. Just like that. Just like perfect. that. Perfect. Yep. Perfect. You, exactly. you called it perfect. He executed it pretty <clears> good, <throat> too. Pretty simple shot. Yeah, all he can do is go off the one. Yeah. No, he can't hit the one. What do you mean he can't? 
Isn't that's that a nine. One? He oh, was a nine. nine. Well, the nine, I meant the nine. I was about to say if he shoots the one, he's, then he'll go off the nine and come in behind the balls again, yeah. Oh, now I can see it. When I use my glasses, I can see it. There we go. There we go. What's been hold up there? It's just for you. It's not for the audience. He might not be able to go over there. It's close. He's he got it. He's going to be missing at 13 like a hare. Huh? Yeah, that's what I mean. He, he, he might it might be where he can't do yeah. what he said. Yeah. Because of because of the 13. He could look at the seven. The seven might have, might have a chance off the ten. That's the four. That's the four. <laughs> you got, man, you got Where's me. Where's the seven? That, no, that is a seven. The four is. I think the four is back there. That's a seven. I'm just. I thought it was a four, but it is a seven. Oh. I mean, it might be dead. I don't know. No, I think it is a four. <laughs> He's shooting five. This is four. Yeah. This is this this is no good. Well, he got he. Well, he just well, shoots too good. That's all. That's good. I wouldn't shoot that with a gun. No, I head. wouldn't either. I wouldn't either. Are you kidding me? I mean, if you miss it, you lose. Yeah, I tell you what, he got a bad break too. Yeah, he sure did. If you miss this ball, you lose the game. How could he possibly shoot this bat ball? I would have took a scratch rather than shoot. Yeah. This this is probably the right shot. Shoot this into those balls. Bank it into those balls and force the cue ball down the rail. I think he's going to roll the cue ball to the rail and just softly like that. Yeah. yeah that's all right. Good shot. Perfect. Yep. See, now you got balls open going yeah. into your hole. You got strength. See, he's he, he's not doing anything. Mm -mm. Hey, you know, I'll tell you something. It's like a lot of people think think that you play a guy and the scratches don't count. That's a big deal. That is very It's a little, trap, yeah. Very little. You know why? Because when you take a scratch, you don't do anything. Yeah. You, you're not pushing any balls you, here. Your whole game turns around and you, yeah, it's no good. He's, he's got such a touch, this kid. Mm-hmm. It's been years since I've seen him. Since you've seen Bustamani? Yeah. He was a little younger when the last time I seen him. Yeah. He's 52 now. He didn't lose it. It don't seem like he lost anything. Of course, they play a lot, you know, in Manila. Efren, Efren and I got inducted into the Hall of Fame together. Oh, cool. Yeah. Rodney is in the Hall of Fame today. Rodney Morris. Who? Rodney Morris. Just got inducted yesterday to the Hall of Fame. Oh, really? I saw a buddy of mine out. Are you, are you sure? Yes. Yeah. Rodney, Rodney Morris. Yeah. Rodney the Rocket Morris. Well, how come I, I wasn't notified? I got a vote. Interesting. Interesting. I don't know. It's very interesting. I mean, I'm one of the 27 voters. And that's for sure he did. He did. I saw it on it's the... for sure. It's public. And, and uh, I mean, I'm, I'm not tough to get a hold of. <laughs> Good, I'm, did, I'm a little hot about that now. I mean, I, I, I'm not saying I would, I, I would have voted for him anyway. I like Rodney. 
what they're supposed to tell you, right? Of course, I got to vote. Yeah, I, I don't know anything about it. I'm one of the few players that vote. Or that have a vote. I voted Danny in. I think that, um, in my humble opinion, I think that a player needs to play your caliber to be voted into the Hall of Fame, and that well, means. I think too, but I but mean, I mean, that means know. that means all games, not just one. Yeah, but it don't happen like that. That's yeah. a shame. It doesn't. See, see, there's two ways you get in the Hall of Fame. How's that? They like Fats. Fats got in not because he won any tournaments or anything. Or right. Play. He got in. It's a meritorious induction. Mm -hmm. In other words, what he did for pool and all mm -hmm. that shit. You know what I mean? And then you can get in by being a player, winning tournaments and all over a period of time. Mm -hmm. That's the way it always was. Oh, I'm not, and I'm not saying Rodney shouldn't be, but yeah, I, he's a I good know, player. No, he's, and he's a friend of mine. He's a good player. He's a good player. I don't know who was up against him. Yeah. You know, you got to be nominated. They don't just pick them out of a hat. Someone's got to uh, go to bat for you and, and nominate you. I beat the guy in Mount Vernon, Illinois in 82. I want to pull him around like maybe close to 20,000. So Fats calls there. He says, you want to do something? I said, yeah. I said, come on down to the pool room. He said, no, come to my house. He's in Dow, Illinois, right? Oh, yeah. So me and my buddy go to his house. He had them dogs everywhere, and we go in there. And dogs said, and cats. I said, what are you going to do? He said, what are you going to give me? I said, Sh I said, shut up. I said, I ain't giving you nothing. Play one pocket. But he was older at the time. You know, I probably could have. No. No, but he could still play. He could still play. Oh, I know. And uh, we didn't play, but we talked for like eight hours, just bullshitting, you know. He was, I enjoyed it. really enjoyed talking to him. I gave him 97 the last time. That's when he beat me, Ronnie, and Richie out of 30,000. I heard, 000. I remember, yeah. I gave him 97. Then I gave him 10 to 8, and I win. And then I I, I, I call up Charlie DeValle, and he flew out and put the money up, and Fats says, well, I, he says, don't worry, I'm going to give you some more action. He says, but I'm going to take this kid off first. He's talking about Richie. Richie tried to give him a ball. He raped Richie. Yeah, Fats played a good one pocket, I know. <laughs> I guess so. I mean, people and, don't and, even and, know that. And I caught him at the end where he, where he didn't play like he used to play. You know, he played the 30s and 20s, uh -huh. be long before you and I were alive. Yeah. And he played that good, didn't he, I heard. <laughs> played real good. Isn't that funny? Nobody even knows. That's because all the pool players saw him. When he when he was way over the hill, yeah, yeah, and he kept saying, "I'm the greatest." Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Well, there's only one guy could say that, and and, and it was true, and that was Muhammad Ali. Yeah. <laughs> Danny used to knock fats all the time because he, he didn't like him because he, he he knew that. Fats couldn't play in those, you know, at the time. Yeah. And and, and he's getting all this publicity and money, you know. Look at this shot. Look at this. Look at this shot. He rifle that ball. Yeah. Well, he wanted to make sure he had draw back behind sell him. Out. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't even think he could do that. I, I'm something's wrong the way I'm looking at this. <laughs> oh, it's, oh, this is gonna be a long game. Yeah, I know. It's gonna take a while. It's one one. Did it roll out a little bit? Can you tell? Uh -huh. A little bit? Yeah. It looked good. About that diamond for a minute. Well, I think he's got him snooker there. 
on the three ball. I don't like this shot. He, he surely can't be. He, right. sh he surely can't be shooting this toward his hole, right? He can't what? be. He can't be going for this. I don't like He's, it. No. I don't like this. Well, he's okay. just gonna break it down here and go straight down the thing. Oh, that's a, yeah. I like. That. I didn't know yeah. he was gonna do that. Yeah. I like that. So it's only one one. So the score doesn't mean anything. Three six nine four thirteen. Yep. I think you can bank the one. That's the one that you Yeah. Toward his hole over here? Oh, that's his hole. He can't bank it this way either. If that wasn't, this ball don't bank. Look at it, Ed. It's straight in the hole as well. It's, well, what the hell? What hole's he at? <laughs> oh. <laughs> he's over there. Yeah, I guess he can't. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing there. Oh. Okay. Oh, it's, it's going to be a long game, believe me. I bet the high run in this game is going to be, might be three. A dollar? <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, I'll bet on who makes the next ball. Who do you want? I'll let you pick this time. Oh, shit. <laughs> who do you like? Who you say you'll make the next ball for dollars? You're big. I like boosting. All right. My, I'm, I'm betting three, three and under. And you're betting three. You're betting over three, right? <laughs> what a <trip>. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get it straight. <laughs> Did you give me your number? Mm, no, I will in a minute. <laughs> Seven and two. That's you? Yeah. Hold on. Hold on one minute. Let me figure this deal here out. Get the phone going. No, I want you to call me. I am. Dion, 702. 5545. Five. <laughs> oh. 7892. <laughs> Yeah, I got you. Got it. Yep. Look at the cue ball. How'd he get in there? Look where the cue ball's at. Yeah, how did he get in there? <coughs> he can't get out of that. Unless the 13's dead. Looks like he's gonna hit too much you in know, the rain. Seven. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't see what else he's got. He's got to. How's he getting getting out of that? And you got boosting to make the next ball too. Three. Huh. One with me. Your backer ain't going for this. I don't see any way out of this. 
Unless he is angry. He tried to snook her. He didn't get there. Don't think he did, did he? No, he didn't get there. No, he didn't. He had to be up by the side pocket. Right. I'm up too, Daniel. <laughs> we hit that ball week. He's avoiding the scratch, is what he was doing. <laughs> I didn't think he'd go over cutter. Well, if he, if he makes it, he's going he's to go in the side. Yeah, I know, but I didn't think well, it could be over I know, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was worried about going in the side. <coughs> I, I, forgot, I forgot what I bet. size pockets are these? Do you know what size pockets are like four inches maybe or a little bit bigger? Uh, probably a little bit there. Yeah. But the thing is that the cloth is a soft cloth mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. so they can slide in a little yeah. bit. Push I can forget it. They never would get over yeah. me. This is a nice cloth. I don't know what kind of cloth it Simona. is. Yeah, that's, a, that's, that's yeah. the best cloth. Always. When I was a kid, uh, Simonis one was for three cushion billiards. Simonis two was for pool. I'm talking about top of the line. Mm -hmm. Top of the line. These guys kick like mules. T Tony kicks better than better than Bustamani. He's made they two or three of those. They good. do. I think Tony is a little bit better on those shots. He's 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 <laughs> close. And that kicking two rails, you're safe anyway. I mean, it's like a perfect shot. Now you're gonna bank the eight. Yeah. Whatever that is, four. Man, can you get this? That, see, that, that to me is useless. What else could you have done? You get the ball past the side pocket. Yeah. That ain't worth a match. Because <laughs> it gives him two shots. Could shoot the 13 or the 6. That's a 2. Oh, that's a 2? <laughs> okay. I gotta get my. Pass. You gotta put the. Yeah, right. He's banging the one. Yeah. Well, he wants more balls. It's going. It's going. Yeah, but... Uh, I don't know. That's a right shot, don't you think? I like it. I like it, too. But the thing is, I, I would... I, I, to me, I would have rather shot the deuce. Tell you one thing, he's banking terrific. Monster, man. Really a terrific. Little shot there. Well, he might as well two rail the 11. He, he makes everything else. <laughs> you know, cue ball, two rails. Uh huh. Kick him behind it? Yeah. <coughs> 
sitting pretty good to do it too. Huh. Well, he wants to take the nuts because he's ahead. Made it, didn't he? No. He got him up over that ball. Might be a little funky. Uh, he's got to kick, kick him behind it. Up, up by the deuce. Yeah, kick behind it. Or up by the eight. Oh, he hit it bad. Mm -hmm. Hit it terrible. Hit this ball with high right and come in two rails and hit that nine. He might get yeah, some more balls. Yeah, that sounds easier than it's done. That's not too tough, look. I'd shoot this ball. Oh, no, I wouldn't. I would. No, I would shoot this ball. Going behind them balls. Shoot this one and then. Uh, he made it with shot. And he probably might wind up with a dead ball, nine. You got it. A little unfortunate for it not to get easier than what it did. in behind the ball like this trying to ticky that hit that nine it's all right anyway this kid's gonna try it to rail the deuce bank da with inside cubo goes straight back down inside yeah inside hit the rail straight back down the table right there you go, so it, boom, just like that. Hit it good. Hit it good, all right. You gotta be careful here if he's banking this ball with that, that double kiss, huh? Yeah, but he, he gets away with the kiss. He just shoot with no wingers. He'll beat the kiss. You don't think he's gotta go this way? No. What's up, buddy? I don't give a shit. Can't make the ball anyway. No, the nine's in the way. I would use a lot of inside and go like this. Yeah, I think that's where he might get a kiss. The other way he's going to hit the I don't nine. Know what he's doing. He's, oh, yeah, he ain't even going to mess with it. Yeah. Which was a smarter. That's a good shot. Yeah. Can't shoot the deuce. I'd bank the four. No, I can't. See, it looks different over here. No, he can't. Yeah, too much of an no, angle. He, that's all he could do right there. Yeah. And he, he. You know, anyway, a lot of times when the you can have a real severe angle like that, and it looks like the ball doesn't bank, but you can spin the hell out of that ball and bank that yeah. ball back. And even when a front, and let's say, for example, like say these balls weren't there and he was banking the deuce, you could bank the deuce back there with a lot of inside, and the cue ball just dies on that second rail. You know what I'm saying? Right. You can, uh, you can have the object ball right there, have the cue ball down there, and hit it like hit a fourth of the ball with inside, bank it towards your hole, the cue ball goes boom, boom, and just stops. And it's a, it's mm -hmm. a good shot. Yeah. And it looks like it's hard, but it's not. No, I know it's. You know? Okay, you got to hit the foot, Just hit the ball thin, ball. yeah. But it, it's, it's not difficult. You know, there's a lot of shots that they, that they haven't been shooting. I forgot who's got what pocket. Is, it, is this a Bustamante's pocket? Now you got me messed up. 
I, I, I don't know. I think it is Bruce Lee. Yeah. Otherwise, the kid would have shot Yeah, Bruce, the this is Tony's pocket. Yeah, that's Bruce. Yeah. This one at the third game. They've been playing for two and a half hours. How many chairs did you get in the show? Ten dollars? Twenty for standing and thirty for the three days for a hundred. Twenty for standing. Yeah. Who's standing? Nobody. I wouldn't. I wouldn't stand and watch a match if they give me twenty. Are you oh, kidding me? Kid. I ain't standing. Me neither. He's a kid taking pictures. Mm -hmm. Seven. Yeah, that's right. See what I mean? Mm hmm. The telephonic land, you know? Now this is Tony's pocket right here, right? Right. He got. Yeah, he can bank this. Oh yeah. He can get one. That's all he can get. Must hit a mile. And didn't even spend the ball. He he was just thinking of the cue ball. Yeah. But you know you're supposed to be able to make that ball come real close. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's not a hard shot. He shot it 100 miles, and you know, just didn't even. He was just thinking of the cube. Yeah. Goodbye. I mean, see, he's, that's that's. Uh, he's going to lose two balls here. Might lose three. If he gets oh, on the rail, this ball banks. I forgot about putting the ball up. Yeah. <clears throat> Boost money should have done with that type of stroke he was using. The cue ball's gonna just. He should have never flirted with that hole. Never. Never. And this three ball banks, if he gets on the rail, a little bit of inside. Just, yeah, he's sitting perfect. Oh, yeah, just roll up to the rail like that. Boom, there he goes. I 
think this is a game ball. Hit him bad. He double kissed the ball. You could hear it. Thirty six. That would have been a high rate of three. He's got seven. That would have been a high run of Tony three. Tony had seven. That would have been a high one. Yeah, I of know. Of three. Look at this. And he got the deuce next. Yep. Put him right behind the nine. I don't, I don't think so. Yeah, watch. He's going to put him behind the nine. He might get the shredded on the nine. Watch, he'll hit the four here. Watch. See? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, mess. He's got him pretty jammed got up him right here. Trouble, yeah, huh? he does. He can't hit the three. And if he tries to make the four and, and, and snook him behind the eight with the cue ball, he'll bank the nine. Yeah, he's kind of in a little bit of a jam. He's got him in a lot of a bad spot here. But he still needs all the balls, you know what I mean? Tony just needs one. He, he can get it down where he, he can get three balls if, he, if uh -huh. Tony makes a mistake. Mm -hmm. and then yeah. it's only two to one. I would just shoot this ball and try leaving this perfectly straight in on the two. We had to roll it. You know what I mean? And he doesn't have to make it. No. If he misses it, he gets, it's just his game hard right there. There you go. That's a shot right there. See? Plus, he's shooting over the ball. That's right. That's a shot. He's looking to win. He's going for the bank on the nine. Oh, yeah. He got to shoot the nine. There's no doubt. Yeah, he, he, he sounds shady. Yeah. If he went for the two, the only way he could possibly get is a bank on a three. Mm-hmm. I don't like that shot with a quarter. It's only good if it leaves a cue ball down there somewhere. Well, he hit it bad. He hit it terrible. He hit it so, so full, it's a joke. He'll bank the two in behind that three. Boink. All right, two's going to score it off the three. Uh, I don't like that shot. Well, yeah, what's wrong with that, Eddie? Look. Because he'll leave a bank. If he yeah, don't but... make a ball, he'll leave a bank. But both balls are going to be moving toward the hole, you know? Yeah. They might block something. I tell you, if I, I need one, I don't want to leave a guy back where he can get three balls. You're old school. Yes. <laughs> well, that's because I'm old. <laughs> and I got to go to the bathroom again. I, I got tiny bladder. You got, like a, you got a little bladder like a woman. Like it sounds like a little pee. <laughs> oh, my Overactive bladder. <coughs> but I want to see this shot. I hope I don't leak my pants. <laughs> I'm telling you, he's going to go in behind the three. Behind the three. Oh, he, he hit that ball really yeah. bad. And he got to wait with it. He hopes this ball doesn't go. Yeah. The three goes. The he could bank the three. I'll bank the three here and just go down the table, yeah. Right. I'll hold the four down, buddy.
I'm glad to see Eddie. I hadn't seen him in several years. Yeah, he sounds like he's a really nice guy from what I know so far. Yeah, he's a good guy. I've known him for quite a while. He's a good guy. These guys are grinding today, a lot different from yesterday's <laughs> event. Yeah? Well, that's the way the balls are sitting, too. You know, just everything's kind of... Uh, you know, they, they might have had some feedback from some of their peers, you know. Hey, listen, you know, you let this match get away from you yesterday, you know, a couple different times. And because we saw the swings. Yeah. You know, do this, do that. Hey, you know, we got a lot on the line here, you know. A lot to, a lot to consider yeah. here, you know. So I think... And it may, may even change again on the third day, you know. But it's really nice to hear you and Ed talk about the, the old days, you know. Yeah, he, yeah, he knows everybody. It's pretty trippy. He knows a lot about this game, too. It's, uh, but, uh, Tony needs one. Ed circling back around. It's nice to know that he actually likes being here too with you guys. Eddie? The, you know, okay. with everybody, with the audience too. We'll check in with you later. Thank you, Bobby. Y'all. Whoa. Well, Tony still needs one, and that's his pocket right there, Eddie. He could shoot this back. He could win the game. He's got to go. It's a, it's a good opportunity. Yeah, he Because he's not going to have many where you can get all four right. balls. When you have a chance, you got to go. You wait another couple innings of the balls will all be jammed up in the corner or something. I agree. <laughs> you get a chance to get out, you got to go. I can't win a bet. He <laughs> was only straight in. Mr. Dem well, you know what they got these pockets. Well, he knew I was betting. The, the shame of it is, though, they get these pockets so tight that it just sharks you. You just get to where you can't pull the trigger. Oh, he's he's that's on. ridiculous. Oh, he's, he shoots pretty good, this kid. Yeah. But he's, yeah. Who's going to kiss this ball? I mean, what kind of, what was that? Got lucky. No, the nine goes, I believe, by there. The nine goes? I think so. I don't think no, so. No, maybe not. I don't think it goes. I'd play the nine four with the nine banks over there, the four goes over. See what I'm saying? Play the nine four, play the combination. No, 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 dude, have you lost your mind? You know what? He played the nine four combination. The all four goes together, no longer shots. <laughs> and they're all different. It's the group conscience. You saw the shot, though. Group conscience, right? If he plays a four, the nine caroms off there, banks over there, the four goes over there, right? 
It's a hanger. Yeah. It was a hanger. Oh, I don't know about a hanger. No, it was. There's no way that... Even if he, even if he misses the nine, it's still going over there. That's the worst shot I've ever seen. He's going to come down with another piece. Can't believe he did what he did. Don't even know what he was doing. Look at this. What the fuck? What is that? What is that? <coughs> he could have spun the ball in and kept the cue ball right in there. I got to right? understand that. Right? Could he? He played it like a nine ball player, not like a one ball. Yeah. Right. No, it's gonna be trying to kick it. No, this ball you spin this ball. You gotta think running. about playing safe. This ball banks across corner. This ball banks across corner. Yeah, guys. good luck. Yeah, it does. That's just, well that's just, that's good. But it didn't do anything. Now the guy just banks it up to, to the other no, ball. No. He's, he, needs, he needs one. Mm -hmm. So the guy's got to play him two to one. He should have hit that ball. <laughs> <coughs> I'm starting to get ill watching this. <laughs> What the fuck? No, I see. He had a good. Whoa. Yeah, he had a real good. <coughs> I like that shot too, real. I like it. I um, didn't like it. As long as he didn't have a collision like halfway down. what I would do. That's a nice shot. That's a shot, buddy. Okay. That's a nice shot. That was a great shot. Thank you. He's going to bank this. This, this can be, this can get goofy here. Could hit it real thin. He might scratch up there. I think this ball back up toward that ball. I'd kick it. You know, this thing, you can make it two rails, you go three rails on the cue ball just like this. That ain't, that ain't no good. That ain't no good. That's <coughs> the <coughs> terrible. Kind of that. Gives him a free bank. Yeah. Banking this ball with right angles. Yeah. The cue ball's going to be right on top of that ball. Right. I think it's kind of hard. He don't. He don't have a. No, he didn't have a. No, no not enough angle. I think he does. It's gonna be close. Look at this. I don't know. They, they play a different one target than I'm used to. I see a straight in shot to win the game. All you gotta do is stop it a couple inches to the this side, and he can cross that ball. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Boy, you got good too. You got perfect. You got good too. Perfect. At least it looks perfect. A little bit left in this year. No, he's perfect. Yeah. Just pass it. Come on, one time, baby. One time, that's your project. Oh! oh! <laughs> and I win the money. You do. Can I just pay you off and now? I won my bet. Wow. Yeah.
call them me. That's me.